Well, good day. This is Grandpa Jim, and uh, it has finally here in Central Ohio, the weather has warmed up. Last week, we actually had temperatures in the 20s, and uh, so we weren't able to get these out quite as early as we might have, although May 15th is about when we usually do it anyway. So today, we're going to be transplanting our peppers into the garden, and I've got a couple tips I want to share with you. Uh, if you remember from our previous uh, part of our video, um, I'm growing a variety called Big Bertha. And Big Bertha is a hybrid, and I don't normally grow hybrids. In fact, I don't hardly at all. But I found these to be just so reliable. It's, it's a plant that we really, I just really like and the yield that we get from them. So I'm going to show you here what I do, and it's pretty simple. What I do is I will make a spot here and dig a hole, nice hole here. It's actually beginning to rain, which I wasn't expecting, but <laughs> nevertheless, uh, lots of earthworms in here. Okay, and to get them out of the cups, I just gently squeeze them, put my fingers like this, turn it upside down, and the whole thing comes right out. Now these are ready to go. You notice they're not going this way, and that's a good thing, because we want them to continue to grow down and out. So here we go. Uh, we need just a little more of a space here. Now, while peppers are in the same family as tomatoes, in this case, we do not want to bury the stem. Peppers don't like it. Tomatoes love to have their stem buried. They just make more roots. So here we go, we'll put our little label here. If we put it in here, we kind of pack it down a bit. And then, to get them a good start, and make sure, first of all, that they don't fall over. Now, our prevailing wind is usually this direction, so I try to put a little stake. Now, I know you've staked, maybe you've staked tomatoes or heard of staking tomatoes, but I have found that if you stake, just a little short stake, if you stake your peppers, you will find that they don't fall over, they don't lay on the ground, and it's just to get them started up, going up straight. And that way they don't sunburn, they don't rot, and then you don't have to worry about it. What I do, I take a twist tie, and we don't make it real tight. The only idea is to just support the plant a little bit as we push it in here, and we're done. And then as it will grow, and here's what I put on it here. I'm gonna put on a diluted amount of fish emulsion. It's organic. Give them a little drink just to get them started, and they should just blow out of the ground. Now, one thing I really like about Big Bertha's, too, is that they not only grow lots of peppers, they're huge peppers, so you get a lot of yield for that. Now, I also am growing, if you remember, I'm growing some peppers that are, the name sounds hot, but in reality, they're not. This is a, uh, right here, this one here is called Habanata. It is a habanero without heat. I love the flavor of habaneros. Sometimes they get a little hot, so I want my wife to enjoy them too. So what we're gonna do, now I'm gonna, these, because they are bushier, they don't mind being put in a bucket or a pot. So what I do, I take a five pound bucket, down under here, I've got some topsoil, but then I also cover it with some a few inches of potting mix. I don't, you could do the whole thing in potting mix, but it's it kind of expensive that way, and this works. Here again, we're going to take this, kind of work it around, put our fingers between the two, or between the uh, stem. stem there, and we're gonna put that habanero right in the ground, our mild habanero. Now, in the case of these, they grow bushy. They don't grow so tall. So I'm not going to stake them at this time. If they start to look like they're getting kind of floppy, then I probably will. 
Got a little bit of uh, leaf burn there. They got up in the lights. We were hoping last week to set them out and harden them a little more, but a little fish emulsion and we're done. So anybody can plant peppers, even the, the regular sweet peppers, the bell peppers, you can grow them in buckets, one per bucket. If you only have, you don't have room for a garden, but you have a patio or uh, a sunny spot, you can always use these five gallon buckets. And if you use the five gallon buckets, make sure you drill holes in the bottom and not just little holes, pretty good size holes, at least a half an inch because smaller holes just plug up, they fill with water, it rots the roots, and you've lost your peppers. So, that's how we plant peppers, and uh, we're, uh, again, I encourage you to grow your own food. We're seeing the price of food going up, and with all the things that are going on right now in our country, you can grow your own, and you can actually know what you've planted, where it's been planted, how it's been planted. So this is Grandpa Jim and I keep gardening.